Hi, I'm Stumpy Nubs, and this is how you cut finger joints with a table saw sled. When I designed our mega table saw sled, I imagined it doing a lot more than cross cuts. So I built a series of joinery attachments for all sorts of tasks. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the adjustable finger joint jig. This process is the same whether you're using it with the big mega sled or with the compact mini sled. Same jig, same steps. Now I'm going to assume that you've already set your dado set up, that it's the proper width for the fingers that you want to cut. Now let's set up the jig. First, you attach the two halves of the jig to the sled's fence using the embedded T-track that all three of my sled designs utilize. The steel fingers on the jig should be facing each other and on the right-hand side of the saw blade. Use a scrap of wood or something that is the same width as the fingers you wish to cut to set the distance between the left metal finger and the teeth on your saw blade. Be sure that you're referencing from the blade's teeth, not the flat plate. Don't forget that you can use the sled's micro adjuster attachment to dial in the position as well. If this is the first time that you're setting up this jig, take a scrap of wood, butt it up against the metal finger, and make a single cut. That now becomes a setup block for every time you cut the same finger width. Now use the slot you just cut in that block to set the distance between the two metal fingers on the jig, locking it in place when you're finished. Save this scrap of wood, because it will make it even faster to set up to cut the same joint again next time. That slot and the finger next to it tells you how wide to make your dado set, how far to set the first finger from the blade, and how far apart the two fingers should be. Everything you need to know for next time. I have one setup block for every common joint I cut, quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, and three quarter. The final step is to set your blade height to match the thickness of your stock. I actually like to set it just a tiny bit above so I can plane the fingers nice and flush when I'm finished. Well, you're all set up and ready to cut. I prefer to cut my two mating parts together. So I place the edge of one piece against the metal fingers, and I offset the second piece by a distance equal to the width of my dado set. I don't have to clamp my work pieces. I can just hold them by hand while I make my first cut. Then I shift my work pieces, placing the newly formed kerf over the metal fingers for the next cut. I repeat the same process all the way across the width of the joint as I The metal fingers will keep the two pieces aligned for me so I can work quickly without clamps. Your joint should be perfect every time. If you do need to make an adjustment though, all you do is add or remove a shim from your dado set. You shouldn't have to do anything to the jig. It's that simple. Be sure to check out the other joinery jigs for our mega, mini, and miter sled set over at stumpynubs.com. And thanks for watching.